All right, Golden, I'm going to give you <laughs> the, um, the um, cheat code and how to win at this game. You just got to shoot the bad planes. Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... Fucking top tier. 47 Thunderbolt was also a pretty fucking sexy plane. Are you telling me the there's P no special input? And the P-51 as well. Oh, that yes, the P-51, dude. Also, yes, a little bit of spoiler, that is in Top Gun Maverick. Did you enjoy Top Gun Maverick? Fuck yeah! I did. Okay. Yeah, no, like, Top Gun Maverick has become my favorite movie this year. Like, it's just... It's... Honestly, I feel like it hit a lot of the same notes that the first movie did, but, like, in a good way. Because there are a lot of callbacks to the original film. Like, there are just, like, straight-up lines that have been, like, taken from the original film and also used here. Like, a spoiler, not spoiler, come on, Mav, do some of that pilot shit. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I, don't know. I feel like it's not it wasn't so much pandering because it was putting its own twist on it and it wasn't just like trying to nostalgia bait because like the story itself did stand out on its own in my opinion in before in before youtuber drops a review video. Uh, Top Gun Maverick actually wasn't that good, and anybody who likes it is an idiot. Oh, Quantum. so Quantum... T <laughs> <laughs> Top Gun Maverick didn't follow the plot of Mario, therefore it's bad. Uh, <laughs> my fighter plane jets need Bowser. <laughs> um, in Top Gun Maverick, uh, they get in planes to shoot other planes, and I, I just don't get it. Why are they doing that? Uh, oh, Jesus! That was careless. Stop flying like you're fucking blind. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but uh, the ground usually does not mix with high-speed fighter jets. No, it doesn't. Unless it's an A-10, a.k.a. the flying gun. Sonic Origins is out, so hopefully we finally get to see Golden take on Sonic CD. Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, that was More a close like one. Sonic CD's nuts. Uh, oh, I got him. Um, <laughs> fucking got him. I can't remember the entire joke, but my uh, Uncle Jojo used to be like, uh. Oh, something... is he a fucking Joe Star? Does he fight Dio in Egypt? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> His his name is Joey, but we in our family we just call him Uncle Jojo. But um, I my I've said this before a while back. My uh, friend Whoa. did illegally change his last name to Joe Star. Jesus Christ! That's what I said. Like legally, he legally changed his last name to Joe Star. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, his wait, last wait. name is Joe Star. Oh my God! Well, and the, the funny Hello. thing is, his middle name was already Joseph. Oh my God! Yeah. Joseph Joestar, please come to the front of the class. We understand that you have a family-sized bag of Lay's potato chips, and you are not sharing them with the class. I mean, like... This motherfucker, if this motherfucker's named Joseph Joestar, he better be able to pull fucking Hermit Purple out, or uh, it, he's gonna be beaten to death in the streets. I mean, to be fair, it's better than his, la his original last name. What is his original last name? Old Ham. Old Ham? Old Ham. I do I, not lie. I mean, I, I hate everything about that, to be frank with you. <laughs> Should have changed it to New Ham or Fresh Ham. <laughs> exactly. Fresh Ham on the street, boys. Or Ham Sandwich. Am I the only one that thinks that Ham Sandwich kind of sounds like a pimp name in the ghetto? Like, so I wouldn't be too surprised money. if that ended up being a fucking pimp name. It's like, I gotta get this money back to Ham Sandwich or else he's gonna be mad. Alright. He's gonna give me a. He's gonna beat my ham. <laughs> <laughs> don't call it a ham. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that could refer to, but don't, don't call it a ham. It could be whatever you want it to be. I don't want it to be anything. I'm just trying to get the Whole Foods, dude. And All right, where's the other buggies? I'm going to kick some more ass. Over here. 
<laughs> As Golden flies into the sunset, he contemplates, did I leave the oven light on? <laughs> You don't need to leave the oven light on. You could cook sausages off the engines, stupid. Multitask. <laughs> just, just Dude, you're just now- I'm like... just now reminding me of that opening sequence from, uh, Hot Shots. And one of the, um... One of the guys on the, uh, cargo are, like, cooking hot dogs off of the air, um... The afterburner turret. Nice. <laughs> I'm just like, that's funny as <laughs> shit. And there's, like, an entire- OH, JESUS! <laughs> That's an efficient use of resources. You're, you're taking care of air defense and food at the same time. Yeah, really. Like, is that fire even safe for, like, cooked food? Because, like, I mean... you're, you're using fuel. Like, very explosive, and there's... Then again, yeah, I saw a guy listen, literally it'll roast... Be good for... <laughs> it'll be good for you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was gonna say... Like, then again, I saw a dude take an M16 and wrap bacon around its turret. Around its muzzle? Yeah. Around the oh! Suppressor. Fuck! Yeah. I got roasted. Yeah, roasted, fucking... toasted, burned to a crisp. <laughs> Sat there, wrapped bacon around the suppressor, and then wrapped that in tin foil, and then just started shooting until the suppressor got real hot and cooked the bacon underneath it. <laughs> And I'm proud Which, like, to I, be I have to America. ask what it ended up tasting like because damn, that must have tasted like uh, freedom. Yes. You think it would have straight up tasted like just gunpowder? <laughs> That's what freedom tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it just like, tastes like gas? Ah, uh, yes, I recognize this flavor. Oh, the flavor of damn freedom. it, it wasn't on. All right. Let's see if I can take down a couple of these guys. Everybody knows that freedom tastes like gunpowder and napalm. I thought that was propane. It's an acquired taste. You don't- listen, listen, you don't burn down villages with propane. You burn it down with napalm. And... Solar loves the smell of napalm in the morning. I use napalm and napalm accessories. <laughs> <laughs> I use napalm because it sticks to people when they try to take it off of them. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you can't stick it. You're on. Alright, is there any more air buggies here? The air buggies? Oh! Nope, you know nope, nope. A cold <clears throat> drink from Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't have the... I don't... <sighs> Fucking stalled. God damn it. Oh, there you are. Gotcha. And he's dead! Yep. Is it even worth it to waste that? No. Boom. Boom, bitch. Yeah, really. Ligma balls, bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh, the blessed Ligma speaks. Ah. He has risen and he have saith, uh, Ligma balls? Hey, Wolf. Yes. What do you prefer? E-girls or I-ladies? I'm gonna say E-girls because I don't know what I-ladies are. I-ladies, nuts on you! No. Damn. No. Just... <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. Ah, damn it. I'm gonna find some bad <laughs> jokes right now. God. I love dad jokes. I hate dad jokes, but no, I'm gonna it's find them anyway. Top tier comedy. It's low brow comedy. It's like yeah, if you're over comedy. the age of fucking forty seven. <laughs> I'm I'm with Solar on this. Uh, I don't. I guess I'm a twenty eight year old trap. <laughs> Come on, dad. Jokes. All right, just another missile. No. Nope. Hey, Ryza. What? I'm afraid for the calendar. Its days are numbered. <laughs> Fucking god. 
My Why wife said I should do lunges to stay in shape. That would be that would be a big step forward. <laughs> Why did the coach go to the bank to get his quarterback? <laughs> so he likes listening to Nickelback. No, he, <laughs> he get his quarterback. <laughs> That's oh, like boy, the next I... band after the next generation. There's Nickelback and then there's Quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Nickel... inflation hit Nickelback hard. They had to go to Quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the next thing. Look at this graph. No, Every no. time I laugh. I lost my job at the bank on my first day. A woman asked me to check her balance, so I pushed her over. <laughs> How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? You follow the Fresh Prince. Yeah. Hell yeah. If the early bird gets the worm, I'll sleep until there's pancakes. Oh no. Oh no, there's too many dead. You know that's only oh. one half of a quote. Oh, what is it? The full quote is, the early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. I didn't know that was a thing. That's interesting. The more you that. know. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, crap. Mm. Golden, can you change your perspective to see from inside the cockpit? Yes, you can. I just like there's seeing the also, pl uh, yeah, I there's also. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. I just like watching the plane while I fly it. Nah. There's also curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. I knew that <laughs> one. There's also blood is thicker than water, but that's not so much. In that's not so much an incomplete quote as like a completely misinterpreted quote because the full quote goes. The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, which literally means the exact opposite of what, like, the widespread, like, popularized quote of it means. Oh, shit! Which basically means, okay, yeah, your family is your family, but, like, your real family is the ones you actually fucking care about, not the people that you're related to by blood. Okay, I okay. never knew that, but I like that. I have one more dad Fuck. joke. Let's hear it. What did one Dorito farmer say to the other? I'm about to fucking lose it. I'm legitimately at my fucking limit. I'm about to go <laughs> legitimately fucking insane. You're, uh, don't you- aren't you tired of holding back? Don't you just want to go fucking ape shit? Cool. Okay, what did the Dorito farmer say? Cool ranch. Oh my god. I've had enough. They're wonderful jokes. Sweet, jolly fucking ranchers, I wish your mom had swallowed you. <laughs> <laughs> now listen up, you double-decker pig fart. I thought you were going to say, now listen up, here's a story about a little guy who lives in a blue world. <laughs> so many different words. Imagine, like, looking out your window in your office job and you see a fucking, a fucking plane just whiz past you in the same fashion that Golden is, like, flying it. Well, I mean, your windows would all get fucking shattered from a plane flying Yeah, because you look at this. Skyline. Yeah, all these, um, all these skyscrapers. This is an abandoned city. Uh. Yeah. But yeah, to everyone in the chat, if you have interest in playing Halo, it is half off on Steam right now. Yeah, really. That's the better experience Golden. you want if you want to know about Halo. Fuck the TV series. Golden, are you streaming right now? Yeah. You are. Yes. I had no idea. Hey, chat. Retro what is Gamer up? Kevin, Zuckerman, Blue Griffin, 
Hi guys. So is your speed listed in miles per hour or fucking like kilometers per hour or some weird shit? I thought it would have been kilometers, but I nope. it, I it's not kinda hard to tell. Get fucking yoinked. Get fucking yoinked. Hi Wolfhead. Hi Blue Griffin. Watching Golden go zoom zoom in his little plane. Yep. Blow up other planes. Ah, damn it, I missed. Hi, how you doing? Eat shit. What does James Bond do before he goes to bed? I don't know. Does he eat ass? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> You're describe. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's James Bond. He probably does a lot more than that. I mean, I'm not gonna shit on James Bond for eating ass. It's fucking James Bond. The man can do whatever it's, the fuck he wants. It's the yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna fucking tell him no? You're gonna tell James Bond that he can't eat ass? Yeah, yeah good real. luck seeing you in the morning. Yeah, fucking <laughs> dumbass. Alright, so it's another. He goes undercover. <laughs> it's like. It's like the equivalent of watching like oh, Wayne the Rock Johnson man. doing Jesus like Christ. arena dancing. You won't laugh Bam. at him because it'll kill you. I got the snuffles, dude. Because you're allergic to dad jokes and you were just exposed to about fifty-seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need my EpiPen. I need my anti-dad joke EpiPen. Joke's on you, it's full of dad jokes. <laughs> Just That's inject me full of more dad jokes? <laughs> How do you fucking liquidate dad jokes? Explain this process to me. Alright, alright, I got this. You take I'll be right what you're back. about to say, oh. And, uh, put it in a little blag. Pour some water in it. Oh, shit. Shake it up. Pour it in a cup. I don't know if you know this. But but you can't turn sound waves into fucking liquid. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bag of agitated water. <laughs> Clearly you haven't tried hard enough. <clears throat> Yeah, because I have better things to do, like nailing my dick to a table. Oh Ow! my god! Why would you do such a thing? Because oh! it's better than telling dad jokes and trying to fucking put them in a bag. 